Clomid versus Letrozole. Which one should you use? Which one works better and which one works faster? Which of them is the best and when should you use one versus the other one? Now this is what we're going to be discussing in this video today. I'll be explaining Clomid and Letrozole and how they both work so hello guys what's up and welcome back this is everything health with nosdera in this channel we get to discuss different topics related to health if you are seeing this face for the first time i am nurse chidera cynthia i'm a registered nurse registered midwife registered public health nurse and a bachelor of nursing science degree holder currently practicing here in nigeria if you're interested in this topic keep watching Now I'm briefly going to explain these two drugs, Clomid and Letrozole, before diving into the differences and how they work and which one is best for you, depending on your condition. So Clomid is an ovulation stimulation drug. Both of them are both Clomid and Letrozole stimulate ovaries to release eggs, okay? The difference is just in the mode of action, how they work, that is where the differences are. But they are both drugs that stimulate the ovaries to release eggs eggs so clomid has been in the market since the year 1967 and since then it has been a widely used fertility drug that stimulates ovulation so clomid comes in 15 milligrams and is taken every day for five days your doctor might decide for you to take 50 milligrams that is one tablet every day for five days or two tablets that is 100 milligrams every day for five days or one tablet in the morning one in the night every day for five days so how does clomid work clomid actually works by blocking the estrogen receptors at the hypothalamus and the pituitary tricking the brain to believe that estrogen is not being produced or estrogen level is low that is it blocks the receptors the estrogen receptors at the hypothalamus and pituitary making the brain to feel like estrogen is not being produced as it should be in the body so what now happens the brain begins to send out more fsh that is follicle stimulating hormone it begins to produce follicle stimulating hormone sending out follicle stimulating hormone which will in turn cause the follicles to begin to grow and mature and prepare itself for ovulation sometimes it can cause multiple follicles to develop and mature and this can lead to twins ovulation is expected to happen few days after taking clomid that is why it's advisable to take clomid within the first few days of your cycle so by the time you're done with clomid ovulation will occur so after taking clomid i always advise to use ovulation test kits home ovulation test kits to track your ovulation and find out when you're going to ovulate okay when you get a positive ovulation test strip that means you're going to ovulate in the next 12 to 24 hours or your doctor might decide to use the blood test the ultrasound to track your ovulation just to know when you're going to ovulate so you can time your intercourse properly because some people take the drugs and then they don't have intercourse at the right time and the egg that have been released will end up dissolving without them getting pregnant they will complain that clomid didn't work for them but actually they didn't have intercourse at the right time when they were supposed to have intercourse to get pregnant after taking the drugs so it's good to track your ovulation when you're on this drug and time your intercourse now let's talk about letrozole letrozole also called femera is also an ovulation stimulation drug just like clomid so letrozole is a newer medication newer than clomid it was previously used as treatment for breast cancer but then was later found to be helpful as a fertility drug as well so it was first used as a fertility drug in the year 2001 so letrozole is also an oral medication taken for five days it comes in 2.5 milligrams so how does letrozole work letrozole actually works by blocking the androgens that is testosterone from converting into estrogen that is the e1 and e2 and when it blocks it and stops androgen from converting into estrogen what happens the brain will still sense that estrogen is not being produced enough as it is supposed to be and then it begins to send out follicle stimulating hormones which will in turn cause the follicles to develop to grow and mature and prepare itself for ovulation so you see clomid works directly on the brain by blocking the estrogen receptors at the hypothalamus and the pituitary while letrozole blocks androgen that is testosterone from converting into estrogen so 
Comet works directly on the brain while Electrozoa works directly on the ovaries they both do the same thing but they work in different ways so both clomid and letrozole tricks the brain to believe that estrogen is not being produced that there is not enough estrogen in the body in the system and then it begins to send out follicle stimulating hormone which is going to cause the follicles to grow and mature and in turn produce estrogen so let's talk about some differences between these two drugs so you can weigh the two of them and decide which one might actually be better for you of course with your doctor's prescription your doctor have to be the one to prescribe i keep saying this your doctor needs to be the one to prescribe okay these drugs have their side effects and all that and you won't want to take them unprescribed you need your doctor to prescribe them and to even be sure you need the drugs because it's not everybody that needs these drugs so some studies have shown that more eggs are produced with clomid than letrozole which results in multiple pregnancy that is twins triplets quadruplets for clomid than letrozole so women who are trying to conceive twins multiple pregnancy is a risk pregnancy but then some women still want to have twins right clomid might actually be the ideal drug for you than letrozole another difference between these two drugs is that letrozole is actually more expensive than clomid also letrozole actually have fewer side effects than clomid some studies have compared clomid and letrozole the women who took clomid and the women who took letrozole and they found out that the women who took clomid experienced more side effects than the women who took letrozole clomid have side effects like thinning of the uterine lining and reduction in the cervical mucus some women have also experienced ovarian cysts from clomid although the cysts are most likely to resolve on their own when you discontinue the medication another difference is that clomid can last up to four to five weeks after taking it in your system that means if you conceived in that cycle four to five weeks after taking this drug the effects can still be in your system it takes longer time to wear off after taking it up to four to five weeks unlike letrozole few days after taking letrozole the effects of letrozole wears off from the system so if the woman conceived in that cycle after taking letrozole by the time the fertilized egg gets to implant on the uterine wall the letrozole is no longer in the woman's system then another thing to consider before taking this drug is the underlying diagnosis what diagnosis were you given? This will influence the type of medication to be given to you, whether clomid or letrozole. Like I explained, letrozole brings down the level of androgen in the body. And you know, with women with PCOS, one of the problems they have is increased level of androgen in their body. So that means letrozole will be a better drug option for women with PCOS than clomid and clomid works better for women with unexplained infertility so you see the underlying diagnosis the underlying condition the woman have is what will influence the type of medication that will work best for her for women with pcos letrozole is a better option for them and for women with unexplained infertility that means you've done all the fertility tests the pelvic scan the hsg everything your husband have done the seminal fluid analysis and both of you are fine both of you are perfect but you're still not able to conceive that is what we term as unexplained infertility and clomid will work better for this group of women than letrozole so the bottom line is that both clomid and letrozole are good drugs they are both good drugs that stimulate ovulation they both have their advantages and their disadvantages but letrozole works better for women with pcos while clomid works better for women with unexplained infertility and remember individuals are different some women tolerate letrozole better and get good results out of it while some other women tolerate clomid better and get good results out of it as well it's always good before making any decision to take any of these drugs you get yourself assessed and examined in the hospital carry out some tests some fertility tests hormonal assay pelvic scan check for other underlying conditions like fibroids blocked fallopian 
lubricant tubes because this might be the reason why the drugs are not working for you like for women who have hyperprolactinemia and they are just taking clomid clomid is not going to be effective if you don't control the prolactin levels or when you do this hormonal test and you find out you have fibroids i wouldn't advise you to take these drugs because remember what i explained the brain senses that enough estrogen is not being produced and it sends out fsh that is going to make this estrogen levels to increase again and estrogen is a hormone that feeds fibroids it causes fibroid to increase in size so if you're taking clomid when you have fibroids it might actually end up making the fibroids to increase in size so it's always good to see your physician run other tests other fertility tests know if there are other underlying conditions that is going to make this clomid and letrozole contraindicated for you so instead of focusing on taking clomid and letrozole you figure out ways to control and treat the other conditions and you will conceive but then finally if you have unexplained infertility then you might consider clomid and if you have pcos letrozole might be a better drug option for you that doesn't mean that clomid it cannot work for people with PCOS as well but letrozole might actually be better for them then if you have other conditions like low levels of FSH and LH ovulation problems and ovulation you're not ovulating irregular periods you can consider clomid or letrozole now with this we've come to the end of today's video if you enjoyed watching please do well to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment in the comment section if you have any question and i'll be there to respond turn on your notification bell because i have more informative and educative videos coming your way on this channel this is it for now stay tuned and see you in my next one bye